Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another Self-Working Saturday. In this video, I'm going to teach you a really nice sort of um, card at number type situation. The spectator makes all the rules, makes all the choices, everything is up to them. And all you really need for this is a deck of cards. That's, I mean, that's a card trick, so what else would you need? Let's get into it. All right, so here is what this trick might look for somebody, okay? So, um, you know, I've always been fascinated by numbers and decks of cards, and I think numbers and cards can create some astonishing sort of mysteries, and uh, it's impossible to figure out. I'll show you what I mean. Um, deck of cards, as I uh, deal cards, you can have any one you want. Just say stop any time that you feel the time is right, okay? So maybe you wanna stop right there. Now you want this card or this card, it's up to you. You want this card here, all right? Take a look, remember your card, and we'll just, uh, we'll put it somewhere back in the middle of the deck, and uh, you wanna give these a, a quick shuffle just to make sure, all right? Give them a quick shuffle, uh, just like this. Now look at this, numbers, what we'll do is this. We're going to sort of count backwards uh, from 10 to one. And when you see a card that matches the number that you're saying, stop there, okay? So it's kind of an interesting thing with cards. I'll show you what I mean. So deal cards face up. And by the way, court cards will be 10, okay? So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Oh, we got a three, so we stopped there. We'll do it a couple more times, all right? So again, 10. Ooh, we got a jack, so that'll be, that's just 10, all right? So and one more time, we'll do it. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nothing, we'll just kill that packet. We don't need it. So we're, we're left with a 10 and a three, 13. Remember, this is so awesome. I can't explain how this works. You stop out on any card and we cut it back somewhere that they can you shuffled them. Wouldn't it be crazy if the number 13 meant something? I mean, you made all the choices. How crazy would that be? We'll count to 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's the 13th card. What was the card that you were thinking of? The card that you stopped on? This is one of those mysteries that I just love, all right? So here is how you do this wonderful self-working trick. All right, first of all, you'll need a, a certain card, which is called a breather crimp. And I'm sure you know what a breather crimp is, but if you don't, I have no problem telling you what it is, all right? So a breather crimp is this. It's a spinning top, <laughs> just like this. <laughs> you can't see it. All right, so a, a breather crimp, all it is, is you're bending the card, you're, you're crimping the card, and you do it by taking your uh, two fingers like this, you're, like you're holding peace signs, and your thumbs go in the centers of them like this, all right? So you're like this in sort of pinching positions. Now you just do this, and you make upward bends in the card like this, and you're gonna do diagonal bends upwards like this on both sides, so you're making an X in the card just like this, and that is a breather crimp, all right? And it just spins on top of the deck and uh, you're ready to go. So this breather crimp, it'll count 32 cards. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32 cards. So now you will take your breather crimp, and it doesn't have to be a full deck, just as long as you count 32 cards, put the, put the breather crimp on top of those 32 cards and put the rest on top. And the reason why you're doing this is because you're going to control their selection to 33 in the deck. That's why your breather crimp is on top of the 32 cards. Here's how you do this. So you can have them say stop anytime. And as long as they stop before their breather crimp, you're fine, but they never go past that, okay? So if they say stop anytime, and then maybe they'd say stop right here. Now you show them the card they stopped on and uh, say, take a look at that card, I won't look. Now you just put it back on top of the deck and you just cut at the breather crimp. That's what a breather crimp is for, is you'll be able to cut to it and it'll be the bottom card of the cut. So show them the card, put it back face down on top and just cut right at the breather crimp and then put these on top of that packet. So now their card is the top card of the lower packet. 
but it looks great because you just cut seemingly anywhere. Now you're holding these 32 cards in your hand. So when you put them on top of these, their card will be the 33rd card. And just for maximum impact, you can hand these to them and have them shuffle them around so they know for sure that these cards are random, okay? So they shuffle these around and they put them on top of those to bury their card in the center. But really, you know that it's 33rd from top of the deck. Now, the presentation with numbers, you start talking about numbers and you explain what you want them to do. They ask them to take the deck and then wait to count backwards from 10 to 1. And if the card matches, the number you're saying stop there and court cards will always be 10 all right so it's a very simple thing to comprehend so they start doing that 10 Ooh, we got a jack that means it's 10 all right you always do it three times in a row all right so when you don't get a hit if you go all the way to one or an ace you will just put a card face down on top of the on top of the pile to kill the packet all right so we'll do it two more times again it's always three times that you'll do it okay so 10 we got a hit so we do another packet 10 nine eight seven six five oh we got a five so we'll stop there we'll do it one more time ten oh we got a, a king so we'll so we'll uh we'll stop there but imagine if we didn't get a hit there so we just just so we can kill a packet so that's ten nine eight seven six five four three ah. three two one ah no hits we'll just kill that packet it's very rare that you'll get a hit every single time on, on all three cards. Usually you'll get one, uh, sometimes you'll get two. In this case, we did get two. Now in this case, what you'll do is you'll just add these values together. In this case, it's a 10 and a five, which makes 15. So now you just recap, you say, look, remember you stopped anywhere and then you chose a card. We cut it back into the deck, we shuffled it up and there was no way anybody could, could have controlled these cards. That was completely up to you. Wouldn't it be wild and crazy if the 15th card meant something? All right, so we'll count down 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And it'll always be uh, their card. All right, guys. So as always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to watch this video. It means the world to me. And if you learned something new, if you got a value from the video, do me a huge favor, hit the like button, comment down below, share the video, hit subscribe, all that good stuff. Till next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.